All right, we were asked to get out of all this. We're just ask us and no problem. We're just trying to go out and it kind of just feels you know, what do you think about the rotation and just that those two little things? Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, I still feel like there's so much room for improvement, and we leave so we've left so many plays out thus far. I mean, I really can't even like turn to look back. I, I, to be honest, I'm really just worried about what's in front. Um, I think we can honestly do a lot better, like I said. So, just getting back to work this week and just improving that. What are some specific things you did during the open weeks to recover, get better, and things like that? Uh, really, just making sure that my body is in the place that I want it to be. You know, I, um, I'm feeling great to be honest with you. So, just maintaining at this point. I mean, they're a, a big group. I mean, they do a really good job of playing behind their pads. Um, they pass off games well. So I think for us, it's just um, going into it with the right mindset. Um, it's going to be a physical game. So I think we're excited for that. Well, flip side of that, A&M keeping the Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, they do a great job on that side, um, but we're more so just focused on our offense right now. What else stands out about Texas team and Texas? Uh, they do a really good job of, um, like I said, running the ball, to be honest, but uh, the quarterback does a great job of keeping his eyes downfield. So we just got to be really disciplined on all, all three levels. I think that'll be the key to it. Do you feel like this bye week came at the right time? Uh, I mean, I, I feel like it did come at the right time. I don't know if it was the perfect time. It would be hard to say. But, yeah, I definitely feel like um, we were coming off of a good week. Um, just got to keep the mindset right and just make sure we're attacking the preparation the right way. Uh, a few more games for you here. You know, you got Checkers, you went on Saturday. Um, just what does it mean to kind of, I guess, leave on a, on a good note? Uh, I mean, it means everything. <laughs> I try not to even really think about the end of it, to be honest. But just know that we'll, we'll be out there playing as hard as we can play. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's been Coach G's message. Just um, if you turn and celebrate the small wins, then you'll miss the big ones. So we just try to just, like you said, focus on the things that we miss because the ones you make, those are those are natural. Um, so focus on the little things, what we can do better because I think that's where you really become elite. How important is it to have a Get the quarterback on the ground, maybe it's not something that you always have to have. Right. How, do you, how do you deal with that sort of on a daily basis? Uh, I mean, <laughs> to be honest with you, every play I approach it thinking I'm going to make the play. So I think that's just our mindset. Um, we, we always think we can make the play. And if it's not made, we think it's something on our part that we did wrong. So I think it's just being really, really critical with yourself and just basically getting out of it what you want. Um, I really haven't done much with our defense, but just being prideful on ourselves, I feel like nobody's going to play as hard as we play. Nobody's going to get to the ball like we get to the ball. So um, I can just speak for us and just how hard we play. I'm not really sure on the other side. You guys uh, have been among the leaders in the back to back of football for almost the next month of the season. Is it important to you that, that teams look at you guys as kind of leading the pass rushers? Uh, I mean, it's not necessarily a, I don't really care what other people think, but just in terms of us, I think if we can look at ourselves and say that about ourselves and we live in the right way and we're doing the right things, so I think it's more of a standard that we hold ourselves to. We're not really overly impressed with what other people think about us. Last question. Uh, what kind of presence have the guys that have missed time, like Ian Healy right. and now Will McCoy, being around the team and trying mm -hmm. to still help you guys out? Uh, just speaking in terms of those two guys, I mean, 
when you think about the guys you want in your program, I mean, those are two of the most model citizens in terms of how they live, how they approach the game. But I think even not that they're not making an impact on the field necessarily, but just off the field, just the young guys, just looking at them, seeing how they live, seeing how yeah, they still want to be a part of the team and how they pour into us as teammates. I mean, I think it's priceless, honestly, just having those leaders because maybe not necessarily taking it from how somebody's playing on the field, but just that other person that can be in your ear telling you how to live, showing you the right way to do it just throughout he's living his day. I think both of those guys are two of the best that you've got. Thank you, Thank you guys.